Oh, hey there. Right at 3 p.m. Monday afternoon, Memorial Day 2019. Sitting on the front porch. Doing my, what is touted to be the one minute of memory for the Memorial Day celebration or Memorial Day ponderance nationwide. I was going to blast this directly to Facebook, but decided not to, just decided to, <coughs> excuse me, to record myself a little bit. Beautiful day. Monday, 27th of 2019, I believe I told all of us that. Memorial Day, and for some reason, I told Teresa earlier today, I told Teresa that I seem to be overcome with the obsession today to research and to give thanks, give credit, give remembrance to my uncle Robert H. Poe, <coughs> who is my dad's little brother, Bobby. Bobby was born in 1932, and uh, five years younger than my dad. <coughs> Excuse me, I've been chewing almonds, and some of the almond particles are tickling my throat. But anyway, Robert H. Bobby Poe at 17 years old in the Cary and Bascom, Ohio area, forged his parents' signature to join the army. And he did that. And um, served, fought as an enlisted man in our U.S. Army. And at 19 years of age, at 19 years of age, Bobby was captured by the North Korean military along with other enlisted and possibly officers, I'm not sure. But Bobby was in that prison camp for about two years and at the age of 19 died in that prison camp. He died from from what records I can find so far, starvation, dysentery, and related treatment or mistreatment. And again, I've just been overcome this Memorial Day. Why this year? Why today? I don't know. But it's intriguing to me. And I found a ton more than I initially found over the years online, partly through my Ancestry.com account and through a WeRemember.com account, which is part of Ancestry.com, and it's been very interesting, very. As far as I know, Bobby, joining the Army at 17 and dying in a Korean prison camp at 19, had no children, as far as I know, and I'm pretty sure that's true. And so, what's really been heavy on my mind this afternoon is that everyone serving, and especially everyone who has given all, either by their own choice through a specific action, or by the choice of others during conflicts, those who have passed away need to be remembered. So this little message is for my lineage, almonds, my sons, daughters, grandsons, granddaughters, and Teresa and I even have 
a couple of greats, great-grandsons and great-granddaughters. I turned 63 a couple of weeks ago, May 8th, and I just want Robert H. Poe, Bobby, a 17-year-old kid out of the hills and hollers of eastern Kentucky, moving up to Ohio with his family, which is a whole other story. A 17-year-old and eventually 19-year-old serving in the Korean conflict. I want him to be remembered by you as well as by me today. So let's do that. Give some thought. On our porch here, I don't know if you saw, I have the uh, folded flag from Esri Poe's service when he was buried at Pleasant Union Cemetery near Old Fort, Ohio, just a stone's throw six or eight miles from here. Um, and it's a beautiful day. Memorial Day weekend has been raining up until this morning. The sun came out and it's been beautiful all day. But we're supposed to get some torrential downpours tonight after 8 o'clock. More toward the 10 p.m. and through tomorrow morning at 4 p.m. Or 4 a.m., excuse me. But up until now, we're going to enjoy a nice day. Do some remembering, some pondering. My 3 o'clock... Memorial Day ponderance, one minute is long past, a couple of minutes ago. But at the same time, I want to encourage you on Memorial Day to remember all of those, and especially ones that have touched our lives by family. So that's the message for today. Cleveland Indians are on a little bit later. I enjoy relaxing and watching a Cleveland Indians ball game. I enjoy virtually everything in my lifetime because of guys like Bobby Poe. Again, a 17-year-old kid just wanting to do his part and motivated some way, somehow, for some reason to do what he did, joining the Army. So there's my message. Happy Memorial Day. See ya. Not necessarily interested in my neighbor's house across the street, more so in that wispy cloud that seems to be something a fleeting remembrance or a fleeting thought is what I take it some sort of a sign <laughs>